So recapping Merger and Arby's lore, James Ellie being a sex addicted abusive crazy sex radiac decides to decides to take brutalist revenge on his daughter because he just hates the life. So after he's done pipping her out and looking at Sid, because the whole reason he hates Sid is because one day, you know, during the episode where Sid's in the uh, in the bar room and Ed's like, hey, movie night because he's perving on the COVID page because he wants to rail Sid. Yeah, Sid goes, sip, and pours, pours the like liquid on. years old and his parents were saying, Flip, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> 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 I want to do something with my life. So, <laughs> so, Sid... <laughs> Pours, pours that liquid all over the floor, not knowing that James's limited edition Gamer Girl Saltic loafer signed by Liam Victor and Linus from Tech Ticks, and the jackass from Murder Drones, whoever wrote this, I, what's his name? I don't fucking know. And the vo and voice actor signed these loafers, and he got them all. So the RBGs don't work right no more. So James, in furious anger, his neck, his neck veins explode. Causing a shockwave in the space kind to continue. Uh, Tessa flees in fear Jesus knowing Christ. about the punishment that's about to unfold. So, James Elliott, grabbing Sin by the throat, begins to karate chop it into trillions of little bits. Sin, reeling from pain, <laughs> becomes a raging bimbo in self-defense because, I don't know, Arby's lore works. And he yeets him to the Arby's. <laughs> Bimbo and stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Like, oh, hold on. Let me grow some huge tits and become a dumbass to defend myself. So, 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 Tessa, fearing for her life, needs to get out of her. She's tired of seeing the but the um, business trip visits at the house because, yeah, lo and behold, James needs to make more money so she decides oh i know what i'll make this i need to move out of my parents house so she decides to turn all the murder drones and all the worker drones that are like 606ing on the floor what the fuck i don't remember the number turns them into sex box <laughs> and it's like oh i need what? to i need to send these somewhere so that i can make money as fast as possible so i can get out of being spit roasted by my father every single day so she goes oh arby's they got the meats Lo and behold, Jane's owns Arby's. So she sends all the pleasure bots there. Thank you. That's where all the action happens. So arriving at the front door, she sees James motherfucking Elliot himself there in his trademark Captain Morgan stance going, you have arrived. It is time to fulfill your destiny <laughs> as the ultimate pleasure bot. <laughs> so Tessa just like falling to her knees goes, well, this is my life. I guess this is what's going to happen. She orders V to the back to begin dispensing the goods. V just going, well, it's better than dating yet. And she goes to the back, but sees that piece of shit end there on his knees. But with a wad of cash going, please, I will give you all this just for five minutes. She goes, fine. And proceeds for five whole minutes to do end related activities. Now full of Arby's branded lemonade, begins dispensing the lemonade. You bitch ass. <laughs> uh, and then, what the fuck is? <laughs> but don't worry. Is lemonade a fucking reference to I don't know Paradise Bakery or whatever shit where they made their lemonade kill people? No, it's just semen. It's piss. It's semen, asshole. No, it's just, we it's only just did... semen mixed no. and pissed. Okay. We no, no, se... no. That golden showers are a separate thing. That you go, you go to the men's restroom for that one. That's where the shower urinals are. Okay. And... So don't worry, we'll get to that later. So as the good speed oh, spent... oh, God damn it. We got, <laughs> we got Sin, who was trying to be the uh, hostess for this mess, but James. Fueled with rage because of what happened to his gamer girl salt at loafers. He goes, you bitch. I'm going to make sure you suffer for this. He grabs Sid by the bag of the head. Crams it on the ground and then 
like drags it doggy style on the ground and yeets it into what the bathroom. The <laughs> imagery? James then proceeds to T post T post Gmod style into the bathroom at a forty five degree angle, resulting in the wall glitching in in fear. James cowering I'm sorry, Sid cowering in the corner goes, please, please. Not in the face this time. It's how I make my livings. Nori is in the corner going, well, I'm supposed to be dead, but I'm alive with this. So I guess living is good. So what do we want me, boss? James looks at her and goes, you're going to be fucking your daughter as a three-way combination. That's the new Sunday special. Well, okay then. It just <laughs> happened. Father, daughter. It's going to be mother, daughter time. I guess at Arby's. Tennessee bus special. Don't worry about it. It happens. Uh, so going back to the brutal sin abuse now occurring in the bathroom as she gets choked, slammed into the floor and into the bathroom and then uh, on the toilet and then over the toilet and then through the urinal and everywhere. I mean, it's just an hour long WWE style of James Elliott being the shit out of sin because why not? But hey, you see N, he's looking through the winter and he's just like uh, pleasing himself or something because he's into this. He, he like, oh, sin, you wouldn't want me now, would you? Yeah, I was, I was that bad, wasn't yeah, Sid just went ham on that. So proceeding to the men's restroom, we see the golden shower process taking oh, place. No. Because you guys brought it up. This is now confirmed Arby's floor. Congratulations, <laughs> you just made it in. Yay, so, canonized. Yes. So you see Zombie N bathing, preparing for his new shift in the back of Arby's. Proceeding to clean himself with all the Arby's goodness of the piss. Because, why not? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Con Hooterman then gets yeeted in there okay. because the Sentinels are busy trying to get his money because he didn't get the money he wanted. So, they begin being the shadow Con. I mean, we're talking like that uh, episode of Family Guy where Stewie beats up the, the Bird, Bird, Bird video thing. The Bird, Bird, Bird player. So, it's that it's that montage of them breaking bad be the shadow Con Hooterman. That's still unloved this entire time. He's sitting there in a chair, just dead center with a sign that says, I'll take anything, please, for five seconds of attention. Nobody wants him. Everybody hates him. So, the mighty cockroach arrives and proceeds to consume the fan because no one wants him but radiation. Oh, what? The mighty cockroach has you arrived. Stink. Oh, yes. my God. So, there is now a war breaking out. So, the uh, worker drones from uh, the Arby's Your Branded Experience have arrived for their break, but there's 13 murder drones over here. They're all like, mm -hmm, we're doing this. So, gang's heights get thrown. People start dying. And the mighty cupcake is resurrected out of the ground. <laughs> Fueled with mighty cupcakeness, James Elliott throws Sid's broken body and proceeds to begin battle perfect on Tessa because that's what he does because Tessa is a G-class bimbo now <laughs> I don't know he burns on everything Ugh. so recapping murder drone Arby's lore is the process of James Elliott brutalizing Sid and Tessa Tessa winding out of this needs to make money and sends everyone to Arby's not knowing James Elliott owns Arby's knowing the meats are there pleasure of all kinds happens and brutal mortal combat style beatings everyone is pleased everything is dying oh but there's semen for days because the tennessee bus has arrived with the new york bus and a war breaks out between burger king and arby's so the arby's announcer now needing to assert his dominance over the bitch ass stoolie hires alfonso to handle the business and replaces all the soda machines with lizard cum the Arby's, I'm sorry, the uh, Burger King announcer, being in massive debt, goes, no, no, please, I owe them money. Bitch, you ain't gonna lie. You will taste my meat, and you will like it. The Arby's announcer proceeds to get into a, a brutal 13-year turf war with the Burger King announcer, because that's what, what we're doing. Con Hooterman is stuck there for the rest okay. of his life having to sell this shit. And, uh, yeah, everyone's just in constant pain. No one die. If you die, you just come back to life. You're all spawning back in Arby's. Uh, welcome to that. There you go. The recap of Murder Drone Arby's lore is now complete. Have fun with that. I'm tired. <laughs> that, that, that was beautiful. What in the fuck <laughs> knuckles was that? Oh! And James <laughs> Ellie has a body pillow. James <laughs> Ellie has a body pillow. 
Oh, I forgot. You said that as I, I can't said... forget the part. Oh, gosh, dang no. it. Fl- and, 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 as we forgot, with Digital Circus being there, Hell of a Boss being there, I forgot about Breeding Moth Incorporated. How can I forget about Breeding Moth Incorporated? Where all your Breeding <gasps> Moth needs will be needed. I forgot to my own company here. So, yeah, well, James Elliott's been expanding a little too fast. We haven't kept up with all his beads needs. So... Sadly, we uh, we, we, expanding. we we recently lost one of our breeding moths because it got tagged. So breeding moth 1.0 and 3.0 are now having to handle extra Barbies related businesses. So don't worry, you too will soon enjoy the pleasures of the submissive and breedable moth. Only yours for 19.95 plus shipping and handling. So we can get down to business all <laughs> times, every time at Arby's. Oh, so G Cup Tessa walks in broken than ever. He goes, Dad, can I get a break? He just goes. You'll get a break, all right, when I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am done recapping. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what about the Arby's War Encyclopedia? Shut up! <laughs> <There's> an... <laughs> Arby's. <laughs> Arby's. <laughs> the, <laughs> the institution <laughs> of which the Arby's needs to be done. <laughs> James <laughs> Elliott. Please. <laughs> Owner of Arby's Incorporated and a, and a semi-owner of mm-hmm. Breeding Moth Incorporated, who has been heavily vested into the Arby's friend. Tessa. Tessa is a spit-roasted, abused, piece-of-shit, member-ass person who is a very well versatile in the Arby's abuse. Sin. Sin is just sin. I can't do this. I'm actually starting to go on, uh, like, dizzy here. Holy shit. Oh. I can't do it. Stop, 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 I, stop, I, I stop, literally, stop. I literally can't do it anymore. Stop. Go get... Go get some damn water then. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, went on He's getting for called. far too long. Oh. Bro has an iPhone. I heard that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no more. water! No more Arby's lore. You are now banned from Arby's lore for the next five minutes. Thank water. God. Now, Jersey Mike's. Let's go ahead and start talking about Jersey Mike's. You know, Jer- <laughs> Jersey Mike's is the punishment area. That's right. There's more lore. There's so much more lore. Don't worry. But tune in next time for Arby's related lore. Don't make lore. your mouth wet in the kitchen and then come back. I don't give a fuck what you put in your mouth. Just do something with it. Besides talking about Arby's lore. <laughs> <laughs> What you do with it? Well, he didn't say. That was a lot of like that was paragraphs. You should go get water. 